behind the horoscope by Wendell C. Perry. How the placement of the sun and moon tells a story about you. So part one, uh, you get the sun in its first house to the sun in the twelfth house. Part two is the moon in the first house to the twelfth house. So a total of 24 chapters, a bibliography, and some reference. Um, so it's basically um, what happens when the sun or the moon are is in each house. Um, Um, so you get about one page of bibliography and I'm not noticing any astrological references. Um, it could, like, to me it could be a decent, um, reference, but since I'm not one to go in, wanting to go into astrology, um, I can't say for sure it would be someone who is in that field more and has read it can um, give you more information it's not totally technical to me which can be a good thing so um and it's not like it's just about the sun and moon in the house it's not um the planets so the sun and moon it can be a good thing since it's just a focus on those two rather um, than um, the other planets. So, Wendell goes into, this is a book about astrological houses. There are many books that describe the meanings of the houses. Um, most books on astrological houses begin with the premise that every house plane placement has the same level of importance. That is simply not the case. The house pl placement of a planet, let's say Venus, Mercury, or Pluto, um, is part of a story that is dependent on the sign, the relative strength, and aspect of that planet. So house systems, um, using this book, the first thing you need to do in order to use this book is get a horoscope charted for your, your date, time, and placement of birth. Um, the time and placement are important because in the entire laid layout of the houses is determined by what degree of what sign was on the eastern horizon at the moment of your birth. Um, once you have your chart to look at the nine o'clock on the dial, that is the ascendant and the section following the ascendant is your first house. The houses are numbered on a counterclockwise direction to that point and then like it gives you um, like a template. Um, if you get your chart from Astrolab, it will be charted in the Placidia system. If you get your chart from me, it will be the Koch, Koch, C O C K O C H system, unless you request something else. Um, so yeah, um, it is dependent on, um, again, your placement of everything. So, sun in the first house, um, the identification of the first house as a place of power within the horoscope has been with us since ancient times. Um, you got leadership, ego, having it your way, um, your mission, um, Sun in the second house, uh, introduction, the money maker, uh, gate of hell, your mission. So it kind of um, goes like that. Um, and then with the for the moon, um, so like the moon in the first house an introduction so the moon in the first house with the sun in the first the moon in the first house with the sun in the second so it continues like that for um the moon placement yeah so like if that's any, any um appeal to you um and like you have your chart and wanting 
to specifically have like the sun and moon um, relations, this book could be for you. So yeah, uh, behind the horoscope, happy readings.